back in the garden today. Eggplants growing. Our jalapenos are still producing. Looking good. Another eggplant. These tomatoes. I think I'm just gonna have to pull them out and uh, start getting ready for a fall garden. These buckets will be nice for growing carrots and other types of root vegetables. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, another jalapeno there. That one's putting on nice tomatoes. Look at these weeds. Dolly's got a weed eat. <laughs> They're so tall. See our ornamental yard longs here. Sweetie, are you gonna pick any of these tonight? No, no, and I have a bite. I need a scooter. Let's see if we can get these. Quite a few here today. We'll watch Dudley as he gets some more okra. I canned 14 pints of okra last night. So, and the stuff that's too big, we're just gonna start leaving on the uh, on the plants for seeds. So you still have it? Oh boy. Love's in the air. Ew. They need to die. You know you can cut them with the scissors, they won't jump. I did the other day. <laughs> but like these guys, who turn into giant monsters. We're just gonna leave them so they can go to seed. Bentley, can you open your bag for the beans, please, baby? Yes, ma'am. No, see, bye. No. And Papa gave you a bag that's all ripped up. Yeah. Nice. Lydia. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> I got so damn out of my scooter. These beans are just so good. They're really good. I'm surprised. I guess the weather cooling off is what's kicked them into starting to grow again. So, and I've got a whole bunch of them already sent back for seed that we've already let dry on the vine. So, I guess it doesn't, whoops, I dropped that one. It doesn't hurt to have extra. Oh, thank the Lord Jesus for that. Over here, you can see the damage to my tomatoes. The bugs are just destroying everything. We got some nice bell peppers growing right here. There's several of them on there. This is our dill plant this year, and it's reseeded itself. Got some baby dill growing. I went to seed and it was just too hot for me to be out here, so I kind of messed up there big time. Watch for snakes, Dad. I just come across a um, baby gardener snake. Oh, it's here. That's over there. I tried to film it, but I missed it. Some nice bell peppers there. Oh, this one's heavy with the falling over. I don't know if you can see them. In there. I'm gonna have to get those staked up better. Oh, black cherry tomato. There's some. Boy, this thing has just gone crazy. It's everywhere. Um, golden bell peppers here. Those are nice. Sweet potatoes. A burgundy okra. I am just not doing the greatest of getting out here and getting this stuff harvested fast enough. But there. You're doing good. Green beans are 
there. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a few plants that are, they don't look terrible, but I think this weekend we're going to come out here and rip it all out. We'll call it a season for them and get our sweet peas. Look at this, you guys. I just totally, totally failed at this this week. This harvesting. See what all the kids are finding. I heard the word caterpillar, so that's probably not a friendly. Probably not a friendly caterpillar. Probably not something I want in my garden. Today. That's no, no, that's not dry. So these things are. There's some dry ones, babe. This thing is a jungle in here trying to find beans that are still good good for a harvest and it's so thick and heavy can you hold that up babe it's so thick and heavy <laughs> but they get in here and they hide and they get big before you know it and I'd really like to try and can up some more of them if possible. Oh, is that one a good one? I can't reach it. Oh, there's a bunch of them right there. Okay, well, I'm going to give it a rip. <laughs> but, um, let's back open, maybe. So far, we got a bunch of dry and some fresh. And of course, you know, the occasional limb. Um, yellow pear tomato that... Whew, it's trying to hang on to whatever. It's trying to kill it. This one here. I think that's a turkey purple. Hey, don't be pulling these. This is the angel trumpet, but... Right there. It's not been ah. blooming. Don't mess with stuff. No, oh. cow pillow. I see him out there. Mm. All right, leave them alone, please. No, we have to get them off. No, just leave them alone. But they're eating the plant. We will let Papa deal with it, please. Pick up your bags. If, if, if. Get up on now. No, no. Pick up our bags, please. I got it one off. Did you get one off? Yes, he got it. We got two off. All right, let's go over here and see what else. Harvest the sunflowers today, and hopefully, hopefully we can uh, get that done relatively easy. And at least scaring the beans. Our temperatures are starting to cool off, and I want to. Get as much as we can get and then call it quits on all this stuff for summer. These are our Fulju jalapenos. Really good. They taste like jalapenos without the heat. And I know some people are like, what good is a jalapeno if it don't have the spice? But for some of us with digestive issues, we can't have that spice. So, oh... I'm hoping next year. This was kind of a slap it together garden this year because we're going to harvest the sunflowers. We harvested one and the plant shot straight up. We have to, Sissy, before the bugs eat all of our seeds. The bag's too small. We'll just do your best then. Make sure you're getting a big enough stem that we can hang it to dry. Come on guys, keep doing your job. There's going to be bugs. There's bugs everywhere. 
Yeah, those scissors aren't good. That's why you have a knife. You're funny. Whoa. <laughs> Those loafers are going to fly, I have a feeling. Look at that. Hold it up next to your face. Yay. Hold it. Um, they're supposed to be You're supposed pulling. To be doing that. They're supposed to be pulling vines down. Okay. I'll get a little closer. I don't think it's going to fit, dear. Is it? Well, better a little bit's better than none. Just set it upwards, you know, where it's facing up. Face it upward. Up. There you go. Bentley, quit. Just pull it and pull it off. Okay, let's see how this goes. This will be interesting. Don't, don't kill the vine, though, please. Oh, no. Well, it's not going to fling up in the sky because he broke it. That's all right. I didn't really want to lose the loafers yet. So gently, yeah. gently get working out. Whoa. No, no. Did you saw me take that off? Uh, so we got three decent uh, heads this year. It sucks that that broke, but can oh, we can reach the loafer now. There's a baby in there. Yeah. Can I hold my sunflower? You can hold on. I I asked you guys to please do something and help Papa and I. Break that. Up, up there. So. There's three large ones and one little baby one we can see for sure. There's probably more that we can't see somewhere. Yep. Yeah. It's been it's been blooming quite a bit lately. So. Well, do you want to leave these stalks to finish drying out, or are we yeah. gonna pull these out this weekend so we can plant? Uh, well, we can't pull this one out. But. I know, we can't pull that one out. I was talking about the other two on the other side. Dry out and maybe make a fence pole set of them. I doubt it. I see it broke way up there. Yeah, it broke way, way up there. I always look through it good to see if there's any beans hiding in that mess. Uh, there's some dry ones, but, yeah. <laughs> so we have one, two, three of our loafers. And some babies. But <clears throat> the babies we're probably not going to get a whole lot from because it's getting cold, so... All right, well, Whoa. pretty nice size, don't. Whoa. Let's see. Look at that, pull out. Good job, Bentley. Now there, that's the size. Put my finger next to it. The size of our sunflowers. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I think it did pretty good. You got a bag to put it in. Nope. So we've got three. Yeah, the, the, what was it, the second one that you pulled was the biggest one? Yeah. Yeah. The other one's about this size. Is it? Not too shabby, not too shabby. There's another one. There we go. Oh, that's fine. There's the sunflower harvest. Alright, well, we got a little bit of a harvest today. We've got our burgundy okra. A little bit of the Clemson. We're not picking the big stuff. We're going to let it go to seed. We got a little bit of wax beans, which probably should have stayed out there so they could have gone to seed, but I got over with. We've got um, some rattlesnake beans, a few purple hull beans, bees, 
our yard longs that are, I'm gonna ferment the green beans. We've got all of our dried um, rattlesnake beans. Sorry about the squeaking chair. I have a two year old that refuses to hold still. So, <laughs> um, but these beans, once they're dried, you can cook them like pinto beans. So we want to get as many as those as we can. Uh, we got some Fulgi jalapenos. Um, a couple bell peppers, a little bit of uh, tomatoes there, and then uh, the grandbabies want to share. And Bentley, did you forget how to smile? <laughs> There's some flowers. Sunflower seeds. I was so upset that they came off. Well, they have to, honey, before the birds and everything starts eating them all. But when I realized them, these seeds. We can eat them all as something. Well, we need to roast them first. Uh, there's a spider on mine. It's okay. Don't touch it. Papa will get it. So, this is the harvest for the day, guys. Um, we tried to video our harvest, and we kept running out of space on the camera. So, we'll try to piece as much as we can together. And uh, share what we got with y'all. So, I'm sorry. You know how children are, so we don't always want to cooperate, but there's Miss Lydia's sunflower. That's Dudley's hand. And there's Bentley's sunflower. And there's Boo's. And we'll put these out in the sunroom so they can finish drying and curing. So. This is a big one. This is a short one. This is a tiny one. Very good, Bentley. Careful, sister. Careful. Are they heavy? Are they heavy? Okay, Bentley, you're super strong. Good job, boo. Put it back on the table, please. Gently. There we go. All right, y'all. I hope you enjoyed the video today. And uh, we hope you come back to see more of our crazy life. Enjoy.